Today, we're diving into the pages of history to uncover the fascinating tale of the world's first millionaire. It's a story of ambition, innovation, and a touch of luck that changed the course of history. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our historical deep dives. Now, let's get started. Our journey takes us back to the 18th century, a time of kings and queens, powdered wigs, and the birth of capitalism. In this era, one man rose from humble beginnings to become the world's first millionaire. His name, Jakob Fugger. Jakob Fugger, the man who would go on to become the world's first millionaire. Before we delve into his financial empire, let's rewind the clock and examine Jacob's background and early experiences that shaped his remarkable journey. Jacob Fugger, born in 1459, was a German banker, merchant, and mining entrepreneur. He hailed from the powerful Fugger family, a dynasty of merchants and textile traders. And young Jacob grew up in a bustling household that valued commerce and entrepreneurship. His early exposure to the family's business laid the foundation for his future success. However, it was Jacob who took the family name to unprecedented heights. To understand Jacob's success, we need to delve into the foundation laid by the Fugger family. They were early adopters of the entrepreneurial spirit, engaging in trade, banking, and eventually mining. As the Fugger dynasty expanded, so did their wealth and influence. Year 1473. At the age of 14, Jacob Fugger was sent to Venice to apprentice under the trading company of the Welser family. This experience proved invaluable as Venice was a hub of commerce and cultural exchange during the Renaissance. Jacob learned the intricacies of trade, finance, and the importance of networking. By the age of 26, Jacob Fugger returned to Augsburg and joined the family business. The Fuggers, already established in the textile trade, expanded their ventures under Jacob's guidance. He was quick to recognize the changing economic landscape and set his sights on new opportunities emerging in the world of banking and mining. In 1494, Jakob Fugger, now at the helm of the family business, expanded into banking. He established the Fugger Bank, a move that would revolutionize the family's fortunes. The Fugger Bank became a cornerstone of financial transactions across Europe, earning Jakob the nickname Jacob the Rich. Jacob Fugger didn't just sit on the family fortune. He took it to new levels. He expanded the Fugger banking empire across Europe, establishing branches in key cities like Augsburg, Nuremberg, and Venice. His strategic investments in trade routes, including the lucrative spice trade, significantly contributed to the family's wealth. Building on his success in banking, Jakob Fugger ventured into mining, a decision that would further elevate the family's wealth. He invested heavily in the Tyrolean and Hungarian mines, particularly in silver and copper. These mining ventures added a new dimension to the Fugger's economic dominance. One of Jakob's most innovative moves was venturing into mining. He recognized the potential of silver and copper mines, investing heavily in these resources. The Fugger family became major players in the mining industry, securing a steady flow of precious metals and solidifying their economic power. Despite his immense wealth, Jacob Fugger was not solely focused on amassing riches. He was a notable philanthropist, funding hospitals, churches, and charitable organizations. His legacy extends beyond banking and business, making him a figure celebrated not only for his financial acumen, but also for his contributions to society. In the mid-1520s, Jakob Fugger's health began to decline. While he had achieved unprecedented success in the world of finance and industry, the toll of a life dedicated to business and the stresses of managing vast wealth took their toll on his well-being. Reports from the time suggest that Jakob was suffering from various ailments, signaling the inevitable challenges that came with aging. On December 30, 1525, Jakob Fugger, the man who had reshaped the economic landscape of his time, passed away. 
The exact cause of his death is not definitively known, but historical accounts point to a combination of health issues, including a severe illness that ultimately claimed his life. Jakob Fugger left behind a legacy that transcended his immense fortune, a legacy of financial acumen, philanthropy, and the pioneering spirit that marked the beginning of the modern economic era. As we wrap up this journey into the life of Jakob Fugger, it's essential to recognize his lasting impact. His financial strategies, business acumen, and philanthropic efforts set a precedent for future generations of entrepreneurs. Jacob Fugger paved the way for the modern economic landscape we know today. Jacob Fugger's journey from a young apprentice in Venice to the world's first millionaire is a testament to his foresight, business acumen, and willingness to adapt. Join us in the next episode as we explore the financial strategies and innovations that defined Jacob Fugger's legacy. And there you have it, the untold story of the world's first millionaire, Jacob Fugger. If you enjoyed this historical deep dive, give us a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more fascinating stories from the past. Stay curious, stay informed, and we'll see you in the next video.